Again, I want to talk in this video the difference between the cookies and the sessions, and you have to really well understand it. So, when you open your browser, you, let me suppose there's a client named Joe, he opened a browser and he sent a request to the server, and the server name host.com. What the server will do, it will create session file, start with ses underscore, then random number for that user, and it will send that session ID or that file name as a variable named PHP session ID with that same number to the client. What the client will do, will save this ID in the cookie file. The cookie file will be named exactly like the name of the host, if host.com will be host.com, and it will save that variable as PHP session ID, whatever he get, it will be saved here. So, with the file that here, with the PHP session ID, will be saved here as a cookie. Now, when another request going from Joe to the server, let's suppose Joe want to set the username with Hussein, what we'll do to automatically all the cookies that associated with this website to be sent over HTTP to the server. And the server will start looking for PHP session ID, say, okay, this PHP session ID, I have a file for it. Okay, I have that user. I will save a username Hussein here. So when I said username, it will save it here in this file in the server. And it will tell him, hey, okay, the file is saved. When another request is going from Joe to the server asking for the username, well, it exactly happens the same thing. All the cookies that associated with this server, because they have same file, file name, name it host.com, it will be sent over HTTP. The server look for that variable name at PHP session ID, which is this name. He say, okay, I have this file. I have in that file variable name at username. I call Hussein. Okay, I know Hussein. This is the name. This is the value as Hussein. Take it. So what you need to know is you could save as much as uh, sessions here and you could save as much as uh, cookies here as a key value, key value. What you need to know here, the cookies you have access to it because it's in your browser and you will see how we access to it. And the sessions, it's in the server. You cannot access to it unless you, you are you are able to attack the server. So this is two different files, one in the server, one in the client. So I'll let me clean this very well so it will be easy to understand. Okay, to approve the concept, I will have this website, hi.arobae.net, have PHP 7 version. And if I go to the sessions, I see some information about the sessions, like the session will be saved in this path in the server, and so on. So if I go to the first page, which is the login page, before I click on the login, I want to open the inspect, then I could now go to the login, okay? So login. I should see the login page. So if I go to the network, then the page name, I would see there is a request coming from the server, sending me a session ID with this number and save it in my machine. But let me start step by step. Let me check first, is this file available in the server? I have a way to check that. I will share with you the secret in a second, this list sessions. The basic script I wrote to show you all the sessions in the server with all the value. So if I look for that one, yeah. I see there's a file created in the server, have this number, exactly what we said in the beginning, and save it in the server. Now the server, when it created that file, send me that value as a named variable PHP session and send it to me to the browser. Now if I go to my browser, I go to the setting, I see in my cookies. So I look for cookies and content cookies the website we say the tool will create exactly like a name of the website we have it so the, the website is ha.arobay this guy if you see here look i see yes he create a variable name it php and my cookies with this name so this is approved the concept that we said first request go to the server the server will create file we see that file in the server and the server send us that one in the in the http response we see it and we see the file the, uh, the client to create this file in the browser with this value. That's good. Now think about when I log in, I should send the username saved in the sessions. So I would assume if I just click here, I said I log in with admin and password admin. You don't need to read the, now the content. If I click login, I, there is a session should be created in the server. Now if I go in the server, search for the same uh, cookie or for, for the same session, I see this session have a username called admin in the server. But in the client side, I can't see this thing. So if I go to the client, 
this page i have only php session id i don't see anything associated with the php session id why because the username is saved in the server we said we cleaned from the beginning all the sessions will be saved in the server no nothing from the session will save in the client only the cookies will be saved in the client only the one who think will be available to the client is php session id otherwise if there is a cookie okay it will see the cookies but of sessions it will not able to see the session just see the cookies okay now you understand how that happened i just want to share you the basic secret that i wrote the secret really easy just to read the session from the server just get guest sessions just get that directory get all the files that directory iterate through the files and try to show you the file name and treat the content of the file so in my in our case it will go to to this folder in the server so the the idea behind this line to return on to us uh, this folder and this folder have many files so we need to iterate through these files so what this guy will do just iterate through this file and read all the file and the content and show it to you so this is secret if, if you if you are able to put this secret in the server in any server you will be able to install all the sessions associated with that server if you install the sessions that means you could install any account in the server so anyone logging in that server you will be able to access to his account you will see session hijacking later on so see how it is for the cookies now you understand the cookies cookies we will learn about cookies and we'll learn how to save cookies but in the session you, you see like we saved only one variable if i want to share with you that variable this one session name it username and he was able he easily was able to see it in the server but remember sessions something it's saved saved in the server cookies something save it in the client C cookies something you are able to access you will be able to access to because in your browser sessions you will not able to access to unless you are you are able to attack that server only thing you will be able to access to is php session id that you, you will use it later on for session hijacking to stall complete identity are we done thank you for watching see you next